Mates, sometimes I wonder, was that written by a human or by AI? Authenticity matters, and we need to recognize the line between human creativity and artificial smarts. But with text tools everywhere, can software really tell the difference? I'm Daniel, and I have been a business owner for the past decade. On this channel, I'm sharing my insights with you. Today, we're diving into Qtex. In this video, we'll see what makes this plagiarism and AI detector stand out. I'll walk you through how it works and break down who benefits most. And guys, before we get started, just a quick reminder. Check the description for helpful links and discounts you won't want to miss. Let's jump right in. All right, my friends, Qtext has been around for a while as a go-to plagiarism checker. But recently it leveled up with a seriously strong AI content detector. And let me tell you, this isn't just another random tool floating around the internet. Students, teachers and even big businesses rely on it every single day. With AI writing now everywhere, the tool has taken on a double mission. First, it confirms that your text is original. And next, the tool spots those classic AI fingerprints that automated tools leave behind. So guys, if you want a platform that keeps your work honest and authentic, Qtext is built exactly for that. Whether you're working on a school essay, a blog post or a business email, it helps you stay true to your voice. Okay folks, now let's talk about what actually makes Qtext stand out in a sea of online detectors. First off, it doesn't just give you some vague plagiarism percentage. Instead, it scans your work line by line, so you can spot exactly which sentences look suspicious and which ones are truly your own. And you even know the source from where the content was plagiarized. Each non-unique paragraph will be highlighted. That level of transparency is a huge win, especially when you're revising and polishing your text. Next up is the confidence scoring system. Guys, instead of one unclear score, Qtext highlights every line with color-coded grades. No guessing, just clear guidance on where you might need to make changes. And what I really appreciate is that this platform isn't fooled by AI writing tricks. Its detection tech works across almost every major tool out there. Whether you're writing essays, business emails, or blog posts, Qtext can scan your content and flag any sections that look AI-generated. So let's take a look at how this platform works. Guys, after logging in, we landed on this page. On the left, you'll find your previous reports, all your folders, and saved citations. You can also manage your account and add users. In the center, you can paste text for analysis or upload the file from your computer. And on the right, there are three buttons, a plagiarism check, an AI detector, or a combined check. I've pasted an article by a well-known researcher on machine learning. Obviously, it wasn't created by AI, so let's run it through Qtext. After a few moments, the result is ready. We can make edits, review flagged phrases, or download the full report. As we can see, my friends, the probability that this text was generated by the intelligence is less than 1%, and the system classifies it as fully human-written. Now let's try the opposite example. I deliberately generated a text of similar length about machine learning using ChatGPT. Let's paste it in and click check. And here, the result is completely different, a 99% probability that the article is AI generated. We can scroll through individual sentences, many of which are flagged as 100% non-human. And this is true since the entire passage was created by ChatGPT. Guys, before we continue, I am happy to share my insights with you, and all I ask in return is that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks! Let's run two more quick tests. I copied a random article from the internet, also about machine learning. As you can see, it includes some lists and subheadings. Let's run Check AI. After a short wait, we see that the detector is moderately confident the text was written by a human. The AI score is only 14%, which likely indicates that it's indeed not machine-generated. And there isn't a single suspicious phrase flagged as AI produced. Now, folks, let's check another internet article, this time about sports. We paste it here and launch the detector. The score is much higher, but the system knows that it's highly uncertain about this document. The overall score is 45%. 
and we can see several phrases highlighted as AI-like. There are two additional features on this page. You can add remarks about the text or provide citation sources. This is how simple and intuitive the Q-Text detector is. And now let's discuss who actually needs a tool like this. So guys, who actually needs this tool? Well, it's a real lifesaver for a few different groups. First up, students who want their essays to sound natural. Qtext helps you fine-tune your essays before you hit submit. Next, there are teachers and professors who know how important academic honesty is. Mates, the platform gives them a clear, accurate way to spot copied work or heavy AI influence. It even supports proper citations right inside the report, which makes giving feedback a whole lot easier. Writers who care about tone also need it. Whether you're working on articles, books, or screenplays, you'll appreciate how Qtex helps you keep that human touch. And for creators like YouTubers and scriptwriters, it's basically your safety net. The tool makes sure your work is unique and still sounds like you. All right, my friends, let's wrap it up. After testing out all these features, I've got to say it's one of the most reliable tools I've come across. The line-by-line -line feedback and confidence scores take out the guesswork, and the fact it flags both plagiarism and AI-generated writing puts it a step ahead of most checkers. So if you need a reliable detector, I've got good news for you. There's a free trial, so you can check up to 2,000 words to start. Guys, that's enough to test an essay or a couple blog posts and see if it fits your workflow. And if you're already using Qtext, drop your score in the comments below. Let me know if it flagged anything surprising. All right, my friends, and that's all about my Qtext review. So don't forget to check those links in the description below. If you had a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.